What's up, y'all? It's Brand Guy Hits, and this is my artist exclusive with Cannabis Infusions. Stay tuned. Oh man, what's up, man? Break out hits, man. What's going on? Man, you ready for this interview, son? I don't know. Kind of nervous. Yeah, come on, come on. Don't be nervous and stuff. You'll be all right, nervous. man. Get you warmed up and stuff over here, man. Have a seat. Have a seat. Hey. That part, man. Just Key, baby. Blunt, Entertainment. Blunt. I got this lipstick cool on here. It ain't cool, though, man. I don't know if you want to hit it, but, but <laughs> lipstick. She funny as yeah. hell. Keep, keep that in the cut. Hell yeah. Keep that in there. Brand got yeah. hits. Get my little camera ready and stuff, you know what I mean? Get you ready for this section. You ready to break your hips? I'm the baby if I should should do it. You'll break your hips, man. You ready? Of course I'm ready. You good over there? I'm all good. How about yourself? I'm good, yo. You ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. What do you like to do for fun outside of music? Um, outside of music, I love working out. You know, it it clears my mind up. You know, it's a like a stress-free thing that I do, and it helps me mentally. You know, just being in the gym changes everything for me. And secondly, I love nature walks. Nature walks is it's fun to me. I love seeing the creativity in life and seeing the outside of everything. You know, I just enjoy nature. It's, it's wonderful for me. It, it opens up my creative space too, and it helps me musically. So you be stressed out a lot and stuff, so that's like your kind of piece. Your piece. I ain't say that. I don't be stressed out. Be don't stressed be saying out. that. <laughs> I don't sad. be stressed out. You say you find your zone. No, I don't use that. I don't like to use that word stress, but hey, look, <laughs> the gym <laughs> is good for you. Go to the gym. Trust me. Okay, you'll go to the gym and okay. I'll you know, just say I got little jokes for you and stuff. You know what I mean? Bring them on. We're gonna vibe and stuff, you know what I mean? So let's you know, do it. it. Let's kick it. So um, what type of goals do you have for the future for your music career? Future-wise, future goals, uh, I do want to go on tour. I want to have a tour with my team. Uh, I want sold-out shows, everything. Going out of country, doing shows out of country, meeting a whole different fan base, you know, from, you know, outside of America. It's just seeing different countries is good for me. That's what's up, okay. And, you know, in my regular life, a goal for me is one of my biggest goals was to always, you know, improve as a man. You know, and treat everybody around me, you know, better, you know, because the ones I really care about deeply, I want to show it through my actions. And that's something I, that I've been working on day in and day out. Yeah, you want something, um, Brent, man. I like what you're saying and stuff. It sounds really good, man. For sure. For and so. your family and anybody close to you support your music? Uh, my son. My son is my biggest supporter. He loves, he loves hearing my music. Every time I play my music, it's always a playback. Yeah, your daddy's boy. <laughs> Spoil, yeah, so. he's spoiled. He's spoiled. You know, I, I try to teach him, you know, the right things to do right now because, you know, I'm for the youth. My son is eight. Oh, you got a big boy. Yeah. So, you know, I'm finna go there with you, Brent. You know, I want to know. I'm finna go there with you, man. So, we talk about the baby and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, what was your last kind of relationship and love like? You gonna see it, Currently, my relationship, my love life currently is, is good, you know. Uh, you know, I usually don't talk about my personal love life, but uh, it's going well. If you love, yeah, I keep. I like to keep my stuff private, but if you love me, I love you. And if you support me, I support you. And I appreciate all the ones who've been showing me love and supporting me throughout this this music journey because it's not easy. It's hard. I'm uh, writing that order just like that. Yeah, I yeah. Ain't come to play, huh? Nope, I ain't come play at all. Infinite Heat, hottest music video show out in Chicago. I'm telling you, if you ain't seen it, you snooze it. It's hosted by your boy, Monty Black. Get with it. So, what do you see yourself in five years from now? Five years from now. Five years from now, I see myself rich in a mansion, driving nice cars, investing, investing in, in businesses, the right businesses to to implement my money, to, you know, make my money stack double, double, you know. So that's what I think about, just investing in different businesses, taking trips around the world, uh, having a family, a happy family. I'm trying to have monopoly and just be happy, you know. 
Be happy with the one I love. Oh yeah, we gonna hit Monopoly. We ain't gonna take too long like the actual game. We gonna hit. We gonna hit. Let's do it. We can do it. That part. Okay. So um, I'm gonna ask you, um, what current projects are you working on, and who else is helping you with your projects? Current projects that I'm working on. Current project that I'm working on right now is Rolling. I have a new single called Rolling that we'll be releasing soon. Rolling? I don't, yeah, I don't have a date yet. Not yet. Let us um, know when that date come out, cause you know watching. You know, you know, you know I'm gonna let you know about the date. I, I don't have it yet. Exactly, and uh, it's it's gonna be released through Swim Team Productions, my team. So, you know, we working on that. We also sell beats. If you need beats out there. Please let you us know. Please mm -hmm. let my people know. Hey, hit us up in the DM. We can discuss that in the DM. Let's do it. All right, Brent, Brent. Okay, check you out. I see you got the most time over there and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, man. Like, if you had the chance to work with anyone in the industry, who would it be and why? Um, If I had a chance to work with anybody in the industry, it would be Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Reason, reason why I grew up big listening to Chris Brown music. Listen, I'm a big fan of Chris Brown. Chris, if you're listening right now, look, man, we need to hop on the track, make it happen. Let me write you a song or two. Hey, let me write you a song or two. Right, we we gonna get it. We gonna get it cracking, man. We can get it cracking. So, yeah, we gonna make a hit. So you want Chris Brown, the artist? So let me let me ask you this, man. So out of all the artists that Chris Brown. So, to get Chris Brown attention, what makes you different from other artists? Uh, the fact that I have a gift of just, you know, pushing out songs and creating different songs in different genres. Like, I don't just stick to one genre. I'm, I'm able to create different styles of music, and it's easy to me. It comes easy to me. So, I would say that makes me different from others, you know, because it's and not so kind, easy. Yeah, it's not so easy doing that. It's there's definitely a gift. Uniqueness, you know. Mm -hmm. Because these days people want to be like somebody else or try to idolize someone else. Exactly. Me, no, nah, I follow my own lane. I'm I'm always a leader. I want to be a leader, never be a follower. To the youth out there listening, be a leader, not a follower. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you definitely deep, man. I see why they call you Brink Out Hits, man. You, you definitely uh, got a point with you. Your vibe right, your mind right, mm -hmm. and you definitely know where you're going at with your uh, uh, life as far as your career. So I'm, I'm Brink Out Hits, and this is my exclusive interview. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. And check out my next episode with Infinite Heat with Monty Black. Peace.